Well, a man is in the hospital after a shooting at a condominium complex, but police say he was the shooter in the deadly incident. Nine News reporter Christian Hauser is live for us. Christian, what are investigators doing right now? Well, right now, Shannon, we just watched the Hamilton County deputy coroner come into the complex. They went inside the building, further the investigation. Several of the Hamilton County deputies have left the scene, but there still are about five vehicles on uh, on scene right now. I'm going to give you a live look at this. Now, what it uh, you can see the police tape marked off around this uh, this complex right here, and there's almost a trail of evidence flags leading from the front of the building to uh, around the side and then in the back. Now, um, a resident in the building actually called 911. We're going to go ahead and. Let you hear that 911 call right now. You're in Green Township? Yeah. Okay. Um, I just got woke up from a dead sleep. Is it because some... somebody's outside yelling? They're like in like the in the building, like right outside in the hallway. Okay. And they were banging on my wall and yelling things. And just scared me. It's... He's like um, in the by the stairwell. Okay, but he's in the hallway. All right. Yeah. I just stay in your condo. I have the police already being dispatched, okay? Now, an elderly man is dead, and we're told his son-in-law was the shooter. Now, earlier this morning, the complex was buzzing with that activity. It all started with that domestic violence call. Now, police arrived on scene, heard gunshots. That's when they called for backup, and then they found the suspected shooter behind the condo building, and that's when police shot the man. Now, we're not sure if the, if the, suspe if the suspect you know, pointed a gun at police, if he actually fired at them, kind of what, what the circumstances were leading up to that shooting. Now, police have not released the names of the victim or the suspected shooter in this, but we are told, you know, father-in-law with son-in-law. You know, we are told also that there was a history of domestic violence between these two. So we're going to continue to work this and see what more information we can get, and we'll get that to you online as well as on air as soon as we get it. Shannon? All right, Christian Hauser reporting live from Green Township. Thanks.